months in Kenya are a constant reminder of the hard economic times which have not spared even the elderly. Seeking for employment in Kenya is a frustrating affair as millions do commute daily to and fro from urban centers as they seek for their daily sustenance and employment. After completion of high school education or college education, most students expect to be employed in the formal sector or get well-paying white-collar jobs. But unfortunately, in reality, such opportunities are elusive. Join me Yahya Mahinda as I link with a group of Muslim youths from Nyeri County who have ventured into innovative ways of making a living through blue-collar economy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Vijana Kutoka 019 Youth Group. Mimi kwa majina naitua Abdul Mwangi Mikdad. Mimi nafanyaga kazi ya tengeza chako burikwetu. Hii sisi huanza na kutafuta kisokoto. Tunapandaga na wapa juu tunatafuta kisokoto, tunakileta. Kikileta, tunatafuta mchanga. Tunatafuta mchanga, hapa hivi kama mnaweona tunakieka pamoja, tunachanganya na mchanga. Tunarudi, tunachanganya na maji kiasi. Tunachanganya pale hivi kwa machine machine na inatolea makaa pande ile nyingine hii makaa sisi huachukua tunayapanda kwenye kuyakausha dryer tunaweka kwa dryer tunayakausha kisha kausha ina take 3 to 2 to 3 days baada ya kukauka tuna ya package tunaweka kwa magunia tunaweza kuyauza However, as all other enterprises, this initiative has got challenges. Alhamdulillah, my work is to make a car. This car is called Briquette. Briquette is in French. And if you look at this car, it is a challenge. Why? It is a challenge to make a car. We are going to make a car to make a car to make a car. This is a challenge. We are going to make a car to make a car. Unakuta kukinyesha kunaweza nyesha wiki nzima. Unakuta hauna makaa ama umetengeneza lakini hajakauka. Hapo unakuta hauwezi uza kitu ambacho kwamba hauna. Pili space. Space ni ndogo sana mahali mimi nafanya kwa sababu mimi ni mtu wa kali. So ningepata kiwanja kubwa na pengine nipate msaidizi mmoja basi ile kazi ningeweza kuifanya vizuri kwa sababu kwa ningekuwa natengeza makaa mengi kwa wakati mmoja na naweza kuyarudisha ndani ili iweze e, kukaukia ndani ama asinyeshewe nje. Turn to counter these challenges, the government, through the county director for youth in Nyeri County, has been conducting classes in trying to entice the youth into starting blue collar enterprises. Uh, white collar jobs in themselves have a limit. Blue collar jobs have no limit. It all depends with the innovation of our youth and the opportunities that we are able to see in a given setup. And that my sincere advice to our youth, especially in the wake of the unemployment challenge that we are facing, we should not just think of the white collar jobs. Actually, blue collar jobs is the way to go. And why do I say this? I say this because once one somebody starts small, there is the entire limit that one can move to. There is the entire innovation that one can think about. There is even the aspect of even employing other people besides one employing himself or herself. This point was also supported by Hassan Yakub, County 019 Youth Group Chairman. Uh, katika hii project especially ya uh, Chaco Briquettes ambayo ni makambo tunatengeza kutoka na ule uchafu unakuwa ni wenye kuwa na high demand especially kwa sasa huu mwezi wa June na kwa ni wenye kuisha na tuendelekea July ambapo demand itakuwa iko juu sana hivi basi vijana wakijihusisha na project kama hii soko lipo na inakuwa ni wenye kutumika sana katika kupika katika kuota msimu huu wa baridi katika pia ufugaji wa kuku na mengineo with the staggering 800,000 young Kenyans entering the labor market every year or stripping the available job opportunities in the formal sector. This need for the country's labor force to revisit their means of earning a halal living. 
is that uh, the government is also very particular on uh, uh, empowering the youth in terms of the technical training uh, facilities, that, that is the TVETs, so that uh, a youth can, uh, can just have some training and, and come and initiate activities related to that. For those of our youth who have become innovative enough to actually get involved, like the 019 group, the nearly 019 group that is already doing the briquettes and the charcoal. You, you notice that uh, the use of charcoal, for example, and, and the, 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 the environment-friendly charcoal for that case is, 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 is something that can be used for a very long span. It has a very wide market, and that in itself could employ so many other people. You can imagine the chain of employment in that. The distributors, the makers, those who are going to do any value addition related to that, as compared to one form of a white collar job employment that one youth can gain. And therefore, I wish to say that uh, uh, let us venture into this limitless uh, informal sector employment, get involved in it in an innovative way, uh, see how what value addition that we can make in that and then let's grow big as we progress day in day out and that way we shall employ even so many other youth out there nikependa kuhamasisha vijana wetu wao nionye kuingilia katika hizi kazi zetu za kujiajiri katika hizi kazi zetu za jua kali kwani zinakuwa ni zenye kuwa ni zenye kutupatia mapato ambayo tunayokuwa ni nyenye kutumia kila siku na hizi ni kazi ambazo kwa kweli haziwezi kuwa ni zenye kuja wala haziwezi kuwa ni zenye kukosekana kwa vile sisi tunatumia hizi takataka ambazo zinapatikana kila siku na kwa ni wenye kusaidia jamii na community kwa kusafisha na pia vile vile hii uchafu na kwa ni wenye kutupatia pesa kutokana na yale mali na kwa ni yeye kuzalisha vile vile ningependa kumrudishia shukrani kijana mwenzetu Said Abdalla ambaye ni welder wetu amekuwa mwenye kutusaidia katika kufabricate hizi mashini zetu kazi yangu ni welding na engineering na pia nafanya kazi ya kutengeneza madirisha milango na kutoa magari na pia nasita ndugu zangu wa Kiislamu kutengeneza mashini za makaa na pia kuna wengine na wafundisha hata hizo kazi zenyewe wasiseme hakuna kazi kazi ziko ni sisi wenyewe tutai kufanya kazi hali muhimu ni mtu awe na bidii ukiona bidii Data from the 2019 census indicates that Kenya has got about 14 million youths, out of which more than 5 million youths are actually jobless. Uh, of course, we are all aware that uh, the rate of unemployment is quite high in the Republic, uh, given that uh, it would refer from 2019 census to about 14 million uh, youth. Uh, and, uh, were there and uh, about 5 million of the 14 uh, million are uh, unemployed and, and therefore, uh, rather are employed and therefore uh, getting formal employment is a bit restricted but beyond the formal employment there is a varied other income generating activities that the youth can get engaged into meaning that uh, there is need even for informal uh, sector employment uh, which, like in Nyeri County, we are already engaging our youth in. In the same uh, uh, breath, I also wish to acknowledge the government effort in terms of uh, reaching out to empower the youth. Uh, for example, when we take uh, our Nyeri County, we have the Nyeri uh, Central Youth Empowerment Center. The youth also get engaged in uh, Ajira Digital Trainings. Uh, besides that, uh, we also have uh, other, other youth empowerment centers like the Udaya one, which is also operational with Ajira Digital Training, and also in Kieni, uh, not mentioning also Mukuruini and Madeira, they are also centers. Uh, however, it's also important to mention other programs that the government is also engaged in, and at the county we have the government funds, we have uh, the Youth Enterprise Development Fund, uh, currently, we have about 469.8 million, which has actually been uh, uh, disbursed to youth, uh, to about 22,100 youth beneficiaries and groups in terms of loaning to, through the intermediaries, the, the financial intermediaries, and also direct uh, loaning. Ningependa kuita mwito katika serikali ili kuondoa ile riba ambayo ya ya ya, ya loans ambazo kuwa ni tunaweza tunaweza kuwa ni wenye kuzichukua. Hii riba kwa hakika iko juu sana. 
ila pia ningependa kuipongeza youth fund kwa vile hawana riba wako tunu hiyo 5% ambayo ni, ni, ni administration cost na vile vile hii pesa hiyo nyo kuwafikia vijana wenzetu katika mita mbali mbali tuko tayari kuwafundisha na kuelimisha vile watakuwa ni wenye kuanza biashara zao kama hizi tengezaji wa makaa vikingi na mambo mengine uh, in Uwezo, we have disbursed about uh, 118 million to over a thousand youth beneficiaries both in terms of groups and uh, other individual youth and uh, in this regard uh, I would also wish to say that uh, as we speak also we have about 3.6 million which actually is already a revolving fund from Uwezo that is out for our youth to, and, uh, to, to actually apply and benefit from. Other programs include the KEO, the Kenya Youth Employment Opportunities Program and nationally this is a program in, uh, that is actually benefiting our youth in terms of trainings uh, for, for activities they undertake in one year. Uh, once they are taken and uh, in the central region for example uh, we could say that uh, we mainly have a program in Nandarua, in Kiambu but even for our youth in Nyeri uh, once they can make applications they can be absorbed as long as they are able to make arrangements for accommodation within those counties we are encouraging our youth to make use of these opportunities so that they are able to get uh, the empowerment part of it uh, also closer home to uh, the, this place called uh, Majengo, I would say that uh, the government is also undertaking activities to empower the youth in terms of uh, uh, enhancing uh, income generating activities. Uh, these include uh, empowering the youth to make uh, building uh, blocks and, and briquettes and especially to do with the blocks we can see that our youth are also engaging in uh, uh, the, the, the president's big four agenda, especially on housing, Whether, where these youth actually make uh, the blocks for housing and uh, like they will also explain themselves uh, the kind of activities they are taking, building houses and also uh, getting contracts outside there to actually earn a living. As a parting shot, these enterprising youths from Nyeri have these advice for their fellow youths around the country. Alhamdulillah kwa vijana wenzangu ningeza kuambia kwanza tusidharau kazi. Kama kwanza kazi yenye ni halali. Ikiwa si halali kwa sababu kuna kazi ambazo kwamba si za halali, kuuza bangi, kuuza pombe, kuuza fanya kazi bilabu na vitu vingine ambavyo kwamba sisi hatujeruhusiwa katika dunia yetu. Lakini kazi yoyote ambayo kwamba unafanya kwa mkono wako, kwanza Mwenyezi Mungu anaikabarika na pili ikiwa ni ya halali basi inakuwa ni tamu zaidi. So tusife moyo kazi ambayo kwamba ni ya halali na unapata chako cha halali jioni ukienda kulala utakuwa umemridhisha Mwenyezi Mungu na ukioshamridhisha Mwenyezi Mungu basi pia nafsi yako itakuwa nyenye kuridhika kwa sababu sisi tunafaa yani e, wa ila rabbika farqa yani e, tumtorokie Mwenyezi Mungu tumuelekee Mwenyezi Mungu yani malengo yetu ni Mwenyezi Mungu basi akituridhia na sisi tunakuwa ni wenye kufaulu katika hii maisha na maisha ya akhirat pia Going by the adage that says a thousand kilometer journey starts with one single step, these youths have already taken the initial step and now they are reaping benefits from their efforts. For Mount Kenya News Rio, this is Yahya Mahinda.